What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Next Gen Geek channel. I'm your host Darius and we have quite a bit to discuss yet again. And it seems like Sony and Netflix has reached a deal. Sony was previously with stars before where they actually upload their movies and everything Try and their shows to so stars. Now, Sony but that is deal has with the one and only pretty much the biggest streaming giant on the planet Earth and that's Netflix. So let's discuss more about this deal. I don't want to get go into too much detail because I do want to give my thoughts as well. But essentially, Sony is giving the streaming giant an exclusive 18-month window for the studio's theatrical titles starting in 2022. So starting in 2022, all their theatrical movies such as Morbius, Uncharted, Where the Crawdads Sing, and Bullet Train will be on the streaming service after theatrical releases and will still be released on there prior to entertainment platforms. So of course your Blu-rays, that sort of thing. After that, it's still going to be on Netflix as well. The company already had existing relationship with Sony Pictures Animation because of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So the new agreement adds all other labels and genres for the studio. Also, not only that, but selected rights also include our future installments of Spider-Man, Venom, Jumanji, Bad Boys, and it's guys, things are about to get crazy in the streaming wars. And Netflix will be able to gain rights to prior entries as well, including the sequel to Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. So, all in all guys, Sony looks like they're doubling down on trying to get their movies just everywhere at this point. WB kind of pretty much kicked this off with their announcement of having their 2021 movies being released on HBO Max at the same time and it looks like it's going well for them regarding that front to be honest. Despite what you think of Wonder Woman 1984, Godzilla vs Kong, numbers have gone up for them. It looks like just from what people have been saying online, Zack Snyder's Justice League. So all in all honestly in my opinion I think this is really great for Sony. Sony does not have really their own streaming service, and so instead of building their own, they're just like, hey, we'll just partner with Netflix. Netflix is the biggest one. Hey, if we can get Spider-Man on Netflix, I mean, guys, think of that. A Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man movies now are going to be on Netflix. Future installments, previous ones, are all going to be coming onto Netflix at some point. I think this is great. I think this is a really smart move for Sony as the climate of streaming platforms are getting more saturated and saturated than ever before. We're getting HBO Max, we're getting Paramount Plus, we have Disney Plus, where we have, you know, it's, it's all over the place. So I think Sony made the right decision into actually just partnering with one of them, specifically Netflix, which I think was honestly the right one, and continuing that relationship and continuing putting out movies for us consumers. So again, what do you guys think of this? news. This is honestly pretty big. This is pretty huge. I wanted to try and rush and get this out there. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you think this was a smart move by Sony? If not, let me know why. Right? Uh, are you excited for future installments of Spider-Man? Are you excited for Uncharted to be on Netflix and you can re-watch Uncharted, Mo Morbius, Venom, all of that over and over again? So guys, again, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.